So, it's been a crazy semester, and I realize that a lot of people have had these grand ideas and not been able to fulfill those grand ideas, and working with Clay at home and having an impromptu studio is a really tricky, difficult thing to deal with. And through tricky, difficult things and times, uh, really important explorations and experiments can happen with your, your work and what you're doing. What I'm hearing back from almost everybody is that clay dries out very fast at home. If you leave a bag open, there goes your bag of clay, and before you know it, you can't get to the things that you wanted to make, or you don't have the space to do it, uh, or there are these limits, limitations or restrictions that are happening. So, what I'm going to introduce to you is more of a conceptual idea, or conceptual art idea. Conceptual art sort of derived in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, sort of a way to break the mold of tradition. Uh, it's wide open. Conceptual art is just thinking about it can be the art, objects can be the art, actions can be the art, performance, it's a wide range of things. And I started thinking about what's been happening with us. And we have this giant block of clay that most likely has dried solid. And we don't know what to do with it. This clay has been on the earth for millions of years. And now I'm holding it, and it's a dry block of clay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to make a metaphor for our existence during this time. One of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dry bag of clay, I'm going to grab my mask. I am at Archer. I'm going to take this dry bag of clay that is solid, and I'm going to put it on the ground outside and walk around the school with it and just see what happens to this dry block of clay. And when I come back, I'll show you what happened to that block of clay, and maybe that's my art piece. Maybe that's what this becomes. Because right now, it's nothing but just a dry, heavy block of porcelain. So, see what happens. Okay, I got my mask on. I'm outside. I've got my almost completely dried, heavy block of clay. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go down this way, the whole way around Archer, dragging or pushing the clay on the ground. And we're going to come back and we're going to get our performance, conceptual art performance piece sculpture finished. Here we go. So after going the whole way around the school, kicking this ball of porcelain around the side, the front, the side, and the back, here I am with a completely different object that I have a newfound respect for as a block of clay. I thought it was completely solid. I was worried that it was going to just split and crack, but it turns out there's enough water in here to still manipulate this piece of clay. There's a lot of really interesting surface textures on here. I have, if you want to even look at this, it's kind of like a roadmap of whew, what it means to go around Archer. So this would be my conceptual piece. This is it. This is art. I'm going to fire this if I want to. I don't have to fire it, but I'm going to fire it, see what happens when it gets fired, then glaze it, and then I'm going to be left with random pieces that are completely arbitrary um, and by chance. Um, right now, completely left to their own... Uh, whew, whew. <laughs> left to whatever adventures this thing came upon. So here's my sculpture. This is it, my block of clay. Um, I set parameters for myself that I was gonna take my block of clay, walk around Archer, push it around Archer on the ground, and come back to where I started. I succeeded in that, and now I'm ready for the next step.